Hello, my name is Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. And in today's blog, I'm gonna be showing you how you can change the material for multiple different bodies in your multi-body designs. For this particular example, we're gonna be working with this conveyor belt frame. And you can see when I created it, it was created as a multi-body piece. Now there's many different benefits of working with a multi-body part in that you don't actually have to deal with mates as you would inside of an assembly. So it makes it very easy to make rapid changes to that individual design. However, for my particular design, I wanna make sure that the mass is up to date so that when I do any of my calculations, everything is gonna be accurate. Now we'll notice when we go over into our material section of our feature manager and try to edit that particular material, this is going to change the material for every single body of my particular multi-body part. However, for this design, we can see that we have some extruded aluminum members, we may have some steel plates, and even some rubberized rollers that we can move our particular packages around. So applying one particular material is not going to work in my design. However, there is a solution for this. You'll notice that when you have a multi-body part, you'll actually have a cut list folder available. Inside of the cut list folder, you'll see every single particular member of your multi-body piece. And if you want to apply a material to any one of these members, all you need to do is select on the member and right click and you'll see that you have the material option down here. This is the exact same material option as you would have by just clicking the materials folder of your feature manager. However, this is just going to change the material for that one particular member. So in our case, let's go ahead and just add 1060 alloy aluminum directly to that rear member. Now this one particular piece has that alloy aluminum already applied and we can continue on with our design. However, for a design such as this that has over 60 different bodies, it can be a little bit cumbersome to have to do this manually one at a time. Now there is a solution for that as well. If you choose in any one of your folders, you can use either the control key or the shift key to select multiple different members and then apply a material directly from there. Once again, we'll just choose that 1060 alloy aluminum. Now when I go ahead and perform my mass property calculations, my particular multi-body part will be accurate and up to date depending on what materials and what individual bodies those materials are applied to. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube page for more educational content such as this.